you know, we've kind of come to a point where we just medicate everybody. It doesn't matter what age they are. Six years old, yeah, let's give her a tranquilizer. All right, let's read this. A six-year-old girl was committed to a mental health facility without parent consent. I mean, could you imagine being the parent in this, this situation? So this little girl had thrown a temper tantrum in a Florida school, and she was committed for two days in a mental health facility without her mother's consent. Why? Well, because she threw a temper tantrum. Evidently, she was throwing chairs. They said she was attacking teachers, but that hasn't been confirmed. They said she was try, uh, running out of the school, is what the report says, but... Then again, there's no report that says she actually left the school. In fact, the police showed up and they calmly walked her out of school. But uh, let's read this. A six-year-old girl in Florida was committed for two days to a mental health facility without her mother's consent after allegedly throwing a temper tantrum at school, an attorney for the family said. Yeah. Gone are the days when a kid threw a temper tantrum and the adults looked and said, okay, and, yeah, no. Now it's a kid throws a temper tantrum and they say, where's the shots? Come here, give me your arm. The child was allegedly given antipsychotic medications. At six years old, antipsychotic medications. Now, we know for a fact that different drugs do different things to an undeveloped brain. What possibly do you think these antipsychotic medications could do to a young child's mind? It's very plausible that it is very harmful. Very plausible. The child was allegedly given an antipsychotic medication at the center, also without the permission of her mother, Martina Falk. The mother is now demanding answers from officials at Love Grove Elementary School in Jacksonville for her handling of the February 4th incident. Falk's lawyer, Reginald Reeves, said, in a, said a mental health counselor was called to the school because Nadia was reportedly having a tantrum and throwing chairs. She's six years old. Ha, ha. How much of a tantrum could it possibly be? I mean, she's six years old. Just stop her from having the temper tantrum. The counselor eva evaluated Nadia, who has ADHD, and has been diagnosed with a mood disorder and determined that she needed to be committed under the Florida Mental Health Act of 1971, commonly known as the Baker Act. Uh, I'm familiar with tactics pretty much like this. My brother uh, was taken away from, from my home when, he, when I was 12. He was 13. And... Uh, I, I pretty much had never seen him again after that moment. But they put him in a mental institution. Uh, they'd come up with a diagnosis. It doesn't matter what it is. But they had, uh, they'd had they given him some antipsychotic medications, and it, it damn near killed him. I remember seeing him so swollen, um, and they didn't expect him to survive. I mean, I just, I'm so far against it from what I saw with what they did with my brother. And it seemed like the more antipsychotic medications they gave him, while he was on the meds, he was kind of, uh, you know, zombie-like. But then when he was off the meds, he was even worse. It's like they made him more psychotic when the meds were off. So then it got to the point where they just kept him medicated, and they just kept him medicated all the time, 24 hours a day. It, it was really heartbreaking. Um, and it, just, it, it doesn't make the person the same after that. I, I'm very against this. Come on, six years old. The brain is undeveloped. What are these meds doing to the brain and the development of the brain and their cognitive ability? I mean, come on now, six years old. The Baker Act gives social workers in Florida sweeping powers, sweeping, sweeping powers, to involuntarily put holds on children as, long as, as young as two without the need for parental permission. According to Reeves, Falk was not called and informed about the incident until after Nadia had been committed to the facility. They couldn't even make a phone call on their way there. They couldn't even make a phone call saying, hey, you know, uh, we have state workers coming. No, they just instant. Gone are parents that are allowed to be parents. No. Big Brother has to intervene. They didn't even call the parents saying, hey, your child's throwing a temper tantrum. No, they immediately called the authorities. The mother didn't know anything about any of this until her daughter was already committed. They didn't even try to call the mom. Not once. How sad is that? Falk, breaking down in tears, said at a news conference Thursday that her daughter is not able to communicate what happened to her because of her disability. She can only tell you bits and pieces. Mommy, they locked the door. They wouldn't let me out. Mommy, they gave me a shot, Falk said. Deputies with the Jacksonville office were called to the school to assist to, and take Nadia to the facility because, of course, they were. Uh, Six-year-olds six are notoriously known for needing deputies to transport them because, you know, they're just dangerous. Police body camera footage shows the girl calmly walking out of the school. 
You're not a bad person, the deputy says, later adding that Nadia has been acting very pleasant. A police incident report shows that staff at the school said Nadia was destroying school property, attacking staff, out of control, and running out of school. So, on the report, it doesn't say, on the local report, it doesn't say anything that proves that she was attacking staff. It just showed that she was having a temper tantrum and that she slid chairs across the floor. Slid them across the floor. Sounds like we're making a mountain out of a molehill, but that's the world we live in today. They just medicate children for every little frickin' thing. Gone are the days when we take accountability and we sit them down and we say, Hey, you know, here uh, is why it's bad to throw a temper tantrum, all right? It doesn't really accomplish anything. Uh, and, you know, and it's just explain to the child, No, now it's get the shots, get the shots. Call the authorities, call the police. Wow. A licensed mental health counselor with Child Guidance Center, a mental health service provider contracted by the district, made that decision after evaluating the girl. And not once did they ask the mother anything. The officers in the video were not present during the events which motivated the school to call Child Guidance. The police officers were also not present when Child Guidance was intervening with the student. Uh, inter in intervening with the student. Intervening with the student? Hmm, okay. Pierce said... The student was calm when she left the school, but at that point, Child Guidance had already made the decision to Baker Act based on their intervention with the student. So before the kid even left the school, they'd already figured that they were going to involuntarily commit her and dose her up. Yeah. Let's drug them up. Let's drug our youth up. Let's drug our future. Let's, let's totally destroy any chance of any cognitive ability of our future and just drug them all up. According to Pierce, the school only calls for assistance from a counselor with Child Guidance Center when a student is displaying behavior deemed either a risk to themselves or others. She said several steps are followed. Yeah, but I mean, come on now. We, we're in a day and age where a child can't even go out on the playground and play cops and robbers and pew, 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 you know, without people saying it, it, it's dangerous and it was threatening and call the authorities. Let children be children. How about let's just let children be children. And yes, if they throw a temper tantrum, okay, handle it. Yes, but calling the authorities and drugging them up. Wow, that seems a little extreme to me. Maybe I'm off my rocker. If I'm wrong, someone tell me I'm wrong. I don't mind. Tell me I'm wrong. And, and tell me why I'm wrong. But to me, this just seems like way overboard. Like, too much. Tone it back a bit. She said several steps are followed to try and de-escalate a situation before a counselor is called and the parent of the student is notified immediately when the counselor decides the child should be committed under the Baker Act. But they didn't. Several steps are followed to try and de-escalate the situation. Okay, but were the steps followed? How do we know the steps were followed? Before a counselor is called and the parent of the student is notified immediately when the counselor decides the child should be committed under the Baker Act. But they had decided that the child would be committed under the Baker Act before the child had even left the school and before they had even called the police. And then the mother didn't even know anything until after the child was already at the facility and had been committed. So why didn't they call the parents? Child Guidance Center did not immediately return a, quest, er, a request for comment on Saturday. Of course they didn't. They never do. When have you ever heard a single story where uh, it's reported, yeah, they responded right away and they gave an immediate... No, it's always, well, we got to think of a good lie. we got to think of a good cover-your-ass story. But I don't know. That's just what I'm thinking. Your opinion matters in this, too. I just think this is our youth. I mean, god dang, why can't we just let our youth be youth? Why can't we let our children be children? Our children are going to screw up. Are they going to throw temper tantrums? Yes, because they have since the dawn of time. But going over to committing and drugging a child and exposing them not only to the system like that where, okay, now she's been locked in a room. How do you think that's going to make her feel? She was given a shot without her parents there. How do you think that's going to make her feel? Do you think she's going to be happy and joyous anytime these people with white coats come around? Probably not. And then just the fact of drugging our, drugging our children like that. I just, it seems too much. Too heavy-handed, too too much. But those are just my thoughts. Let me know what you think. Maybe I'm wrong. Anyways, I will see you guys on the next one. That is, if my thing ever shuts off. <sighs>